ear plugs or ear whatevers. If you're using, I'm sorry, if you're using your own computer, I think something's wrong with this little fuddy daddy camera. I think it's this camera, Paul, that's messed up. Yeah, it's. A, I don't think it matters. So it's like as long as I can hear you and they can see my screen, that that's all that matters. Yeah, they're all good. Yeah, we're good. And have you sent them the link to yes. Canvas? Okay. Yes. So, welcome everybody. My name's Paul. You want to get logged into Youth Voices Live? Make sure you log off of the person who was there before you. Meeting link is the name of the assignment in Canvas so that you could click on to the link. All right. So that's where you're going. Okay. Uh, go to my class. You can't just look for an assignment because it has no due date. It has no due date. Refresh. Y'all see it? Yes? Me, uh, meeting link. Somebody saw it because they're in. So everybody. Is that, Anastasia? Is that how you say it? Anastasia. Antasia. Antasia. Thank you. Welcome. Um, Antasia, and I, everyone else can be hearing this too. Once you get into Kuma Space, you can move around using the arrow Arrows. keys. Your arrow keys. Notice if you go up, out, is it she did it? <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Hurry up, get your computer out. I'm late. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. There you go. Hi. I'm on canvas. I'm gonna I'm gonna so come down to the welcome room again. So everybody use your arrows to move around so you're not standing on top of them. Y'all all on top of We're still coming in, Paul. So everybody, um, if w Mr. Allison is going to take us through these processes step by step, it's going to be important that you listen closely. If you have a question, you can just raise your hand, ask me to stop in order for your question to be heard, because he can hear everybody in the room. Uh, I set up the type of microphone that can pick up everybody. So um, he can hear you. If you have your computer on with sound, without earplugs, we might get feedback. So you might want to mute yourself, your microphone and your sound. All right. So today you will not be able to be on your phones at the same time, more than likely. All right, only one is me because I can't use my computer because it's projecting to you. All right, you hear my feedback? Mm -hmm. So that's somebody's computer sound was on and they're not using earbuds <coughs> or earplugs. So that's somebody's computer. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you have to turn off your microphone and your sound. Thank you. All right. Everybody in? Is everybody in the meeting space? No. Meeting link on Canvas. No. Go to Canvas, meeting link. Look at the snow, y'all. 
March is vicious, always. You got two seconds. <laughs> You're going to have to sit here. Hi. There are about five things to, to remind you of here as you're coming in. One, one is that uh, you can move around using the arrow keys. My name is Paul. Welcome. Um, another is that you can zoom in and out on this space using the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. Okay. Zoom in and out. Move around. We're going to go up into a particular learning space in just a second. <clears throat> the most important thing is that you are logged in to youthvoices.live and that you see your name at the top. It should say your name, Wall, once you get logged in. All right. So now the next instruction in another tab, you're logging into youthvoices.live. Use the Google to log in because you've already created an account. If you answered the email from now comment, remember for the past two, three days, I've been telling you to answer that email from now comment. It, so even should, if they haven't, they can still log in by the way. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Even if you haven't, you can still log in. Yeah, if your computer is low on power, we are gonna be using some power today. <laughs> All right. Um, while you're getting logged into youthvoices.live, let me just give a very brief history of that. 20 years ago, in 2003, a bunch of teachers from different places in the United States came together and said, it would be really amazing if our students, when they put stuff online, would get comments from other students. We're not, you know, we're not getting enough comments. So we put everybody on one site and we call it youthvoices.live, right? So you now, when you put your voice out there, when you put your opinion out there um, on Youth Voices, you are most likely to get a comment from somebody in Salt Lake City, somebody in Northern California, somebody in Michigan, somebody in the Bronx, somebody in Brooklyn. Um, there are there are schools all over the United States. There aren't 100, but there are 12 schools all over the United States that use this site. So it's a way for you to get your voice out there and for you to find other young people who care about stuff that you care about, right? Sometimes that's hard to do in your own school. So that's why we made Youth Voices, and that's what we want to introduce you to today. You are going to personalize Youth Voices. You're going to make it your own by creating a, an icon, <clears throat> an avatar for yourself. And we're going to use AI to do that. All right. That's my very, I hope, quick introduction here. I'm very excited about this. I will go, I, if I go too fast, you've got to slow me down. Um, but the Kumo space is a place where we can talk to each other eventually when we figure this out better. Um, but also, it's a place where you can come back another time and find all of the things I'm going to say are all written down for you. You can go and find the instructions again, okay? So um, what we want to do is go before, up to our... Uh, before yep. you go to the next... And also, yeah, today's yeah. work is going to count as checkpoint mm. number one, all right? Because we'll be using Youth Voices for to put everything for our benchmark on that platform. So this, today's exercise is gonna be checkpoint one. Um, so pay attention. If you wanna play around with your phone, you're gonna miss steps by being on your phone at the same time that we're doing this. Because what I noticed with Paul doing it, he's not used to working with students and saying things five times over again, <laughs> all right? I say things five times over again naturally, because I work with students, young people, but he doesn't do it like that. So you yeah. all have to keep up. Here's, here's what I assume. I assume that you are sitting next to somebody on both sides of you, maybe, and you're going to help them if you get Ask a step me ahead. Me. Yeah, okay. If you get ahead, please help them get to where you are. Please, please, please help each other, okay? And, Paul, what they yeah. don't realize is I've been really teaching them skills that will take them through college before they even get there. They just don't know yet. 
till cool. I get there. All right. Listen, there is a learning space. It has red stools for you to sit on. It is uh, all the way to the left. Follow me all the way to the left and then up into column one. And then up. Hey, welcome, welcome. You're in the right place if you're on a red stool. Um, you want to make sure that you're on a stool so that you're not on top of the table. Isaiah, there you go, Isaiah. Okay, cool, cool. Everyone seems to be finding us. That's great. <clears throat> the instructions, the instructions for this are on the table. If you click that where it says profile avatar, your goal is to find that green box that's right there. And you, you do it by finding the instructions. But also, I'm going to share my screen right now. And you'll be able to watch what I'm doing. And you'll be able to do the same thing. I'm going to say this again. Um, if I go too fast on something, you need to slow me down. But I just clicked on the... Um, on the table, the, the instruction on the table, and I went to this page. I'm not going to read this to you. I'm going to say this to you, number four. But just so you know, it's here for you. You can find it again and read it if you need to. Here's what you want to do. You want to hover across where it says your name, wall, and you want to go down to profile settings. Yeah, and check check with the people next to you. Um, make sure that they see their name, your name, wall, and then go down to profile settings, and then you'll find that green box that says profile avatar. We're going to come back to that, but I wanted you to see that first. Just so you know, there's another way to get there. You can go in the top right corner. You can go to edit profile. That's another way to get there. But hover across your wall on the top um, menu and then hit profile settings that will when you open that green box you'll see a thing that says select file we're going to come back to that in a little bit but i wanted you to do that good uh how we doing it's hard for me to hear you by the way but who me or Okay, 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 gotcha. Um, okay, now we are. I'm going to and again. Oops. Um, okay, now we are going to open AI, and I, I wish I could see you, but um, let me ask you this, and you'll report back. How many of you have ever used AI at home? You've used chat GPT or another AI. Uh, don't count on it. You'll be surprised. Some people are into it and some people not. So it's, it's cool. We're going to use AI in school. We're going to use it to create your profile image right now. And we're going to use it to create a paragraph for that image. The way you do that here on Youth Voices is you. I'll, I'll let it see. I'll let it settle in here for a second, just by giving you some historical context. There was a time when people only wrote on paper, right? And then they started writing on computers using keyboards. That's the kind of change we're in right now, and you're at the forefront of that change. We are in a kind of change where 
it's people are going to be writing differently and they're going to be using AI to do it. Here's the deal. You want to hover across the word create at the, which is on the top menu uh, on youth voices, hover over the word create and then open the box that says discussion post and AI mojo. And I promise you fewer fewer tedious instructions in a second. Hover over create, open discussion post and AI mojo. AI mojo is what leads us out to chat GPT and other other AI tools, it takes 20 seconds maybe to open. Be patient for it. And uh, so you should see this screen. Add title. Check with the people to your right and to your left. Make sure everybody is on this screen. It says add title. Thank you for your patience and all that tedious instructions. I want to remind you again, all of those instructions are there for you through Kuma space. If you, if you get lost, you can go back and see it. Okay. Ready? Uh, give me a thought. I can't hear. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So in the upper right-hand corner, there is a game controller. It looks like a little game controller. And if you hover across it, it'll say AI Mojo. Click that. And then AI Mojo should open for you. Your quick access thing will look a little different than mine, but that's what it'll look like. Okay. Um, again, I wish I could see, but if you you got it, okay, okay. And everyone beside you does. Cool, cool. Now, the second tab over says templates. Open templates. As you're doing that, let me, well, let's just, once you open templates, you want to go to the box below and type the word profile. And you'll see a thing that says prompting 02 text to image prompts for profile image and more. You're going to click on that and then you'll see, then you'll see one, two, three, four boxes from there are more, but okay. Here's the deal. You're going to make a profile. I know you may have a beautiful profile you love already, but we're asking you to make one today, a new one. Um, and we're, the first thing we're going to do is create a paragraph for the text to image setup we're going to use later. So the way you're going to make this paragraph is you're going to come up with three things. First thing is the subject, then the background, and then the style. Subject. This is what's in the foreground of your image. Do you want it to be a teddy bear? Do you want it to be a bridge? Do you want it to be a piano? Do you want it to be a, um, a cat in an astronaut outfit? You, just, you decide what you want it to be. Um, I'm going to select a computer on uh, a bike. Okay, notice, notice what I did there. I did something that is kind of crazy. You can combine different things. Be a little creative. P, if I spell it right, that'd be nice too. So you can use more than one thing, but find something that you care about, something that's important to you, something you're passionate about, something you spend all your time doing. Put that in the subject line. Something you would go do if you weren't in school. <laughs> so something to represent you. Then the background. Where is this? Is it um, my bike is going to be on a path on the Hudson River because I that's where I live. And it's going to be at sunset. So think about what what colors you could put colors in there you could put a time of day in there what's what's the image in the background of your subject uh wish i get, get a thumbs up here but i'll slow down here in a second the third thing you want to think about is in the style of and if you click on examples you'll see what i just popped up here but 
Um, is it a selfie, right? Or is it an anime? Or is it a manga? Or is it a kawaii? Or is it uh, in the style of The Simpsons or a graphic novel or Disney? Right? Is it in the style of a particular video game or a movie? Or my favorite is a GoPro video. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to copy that. Get rid of that. Put GoPro video. So it's in the style of a GoPro video, which gives me these wide angle lenses, right? Not yet. So, but thanks for reminding me. So here are three things you've done. And, and you want to think you can go back and do this later again, but there you're you're telling the machine to give you a prompt that has a computer on a bike or whatever yours is, right? A teddy bear on a skateboard um, or something. Um, or a back, then a background. Where is it? Is it um, downtown Philadelphia? Is it uh, you know in front of a restaurant? Is it at sunset at sunrise? Is it inside in a library with you know a dark, scary? Or is it in a haunted house? You figure out where you want this to be, and then what style is it in? You could you could pick a particular artist. Okay. Or beyond. Yeah, absolutely. It could be on Mars. It could be on, you know, could be out in space. You, you decide where you want it to be. Dystopian. I like that. Yes. Okay. It could be in the Last of Us game, no, or never mind. The uh, the <laughs> the <laughs> the um. Okay, so then you want to hit generate, and this is where you'll get some text. Uh, I don't want to confuse you, but you do want to try to. This is where you would preserve some of this text. Um, just to say. Why you could once you get this, you could see where it says add the notes. You could hit that and it'll stay there as long as your browser is open in notes over there. But okay. More important here, here pay attention. Um, you just got three prompts. You want to read through them and decide which one is the most interesting one to you. Um, I'm gonna say. My third one says, imagine an image of a computer riding a computer riding along the Hudson River at sunset, captured as if it were taking a GoPro video with motion blur and vivid. Notice how it's giving me all these other details. And that's what I want you to pay attention to later. AI, AI is like this engine. It's like it gives you other ideas as you're going. So the bike should be in focus while the background is blurred to create depth and drama. I like that one. So I'm going to copy that, right? And then I'm going to go to the next, the, the tab to the right. It, it looks like a paintbrush, and it says Dali, D-A-L-L-E. That opens up, and then you paste your prompt there. Uh, thumbs up around the room. Are you up to that? Okay, sounds good. All right, so here's the deal. Um, once you get that there, you want to hit the word generate, and it takes 20 seconds. Sometimes the computer gets overwhelmed, and you have to do it three times. Be patient with that. Here's mine. Not bad. Okay, if you don't like it, if you if you want to try a different version of it, you can you can keep the same prompt and hit generate again, and it'll give you a different image using the same words. 
Okay, good, good. I like my second one better, though, by the way. Yeah. So there are two or three different ways to change this. One is you can go back to the prompt and just edit that text and hit generate again. You could keep the same text and hit generate again. It will give you a different version. I'm going to go for my third version right now. Ooh, that's nice. I'm liking some of this. Okay. Now, just to say, um, in the upper right-hand corner of each image, there is a there is a way to save this to Youth Voices if you wanted to. You could add it to the media library. If if nothing else, you can do that and you can find it again. But okay, upper right-hand corner, there is a add to media library. That's the way you save it to Youth Voices at, later. You don't have to do that now. What you want to do now is you want to pick the one you like best, the image you like, and you want to right-click and save image as, or control-click, however you do that. So do your save image as. Um, we can come back and do another one later. Everybody should sort of follow this step. Save image as. And then we want to come back to this screen. Look up for a second. This You get here again by hovering across where it says your name wall and then going to profile settings. All these instructions are in Kuma space, but just so you know. Profile settings, and then click on the green profile avatar button. L look left and right. Make sure everyone's on the profile picture page. And then you're going to select file. Select your file. You're going to find the image that you just did there. And it's going to up. Upload takes a minute. Now, here's the thing, and please, please pay attention. Um, a lot of people skip this step. When the image comes up, you want to. You see, there's square here. You have to enlarge this square so that it shows the whole image, and then hit the crop image button. Once you do that your image should be there for you. You can click on your wall at the top and you can see my bike image right here. All right. Um, it's hard for me to hear. I'm not sure what happened to the mic, but... Uh... Sorry, here we are. No, 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 good. I can hear you now. Good. So how are we doing? Uh, anybody get stuck? Do we need to go back to any step? Okay, where did you get stuck? Like you clicked on the green avatar. Yep, you click. Uh, I'll go back to that. You can drive the picture. You click on the profile avatar. And then, yeah, you could select your file or drop it there. And then you want to, um, I'm showing this again a second time. Just, all right, my image comes up. When this happens, I have to crop image, right? You enlarge the corners here so that it grabs the whole image. And then you hit the word crop image. Once you do that, you should see it up in your little icon box. Everybody got it? Yeah. I'm coming around. So now, were they able to copy and save that text and image and all that stuff? So here's the deal. Yeah, if you go back to, it's probably on a different tab. <clears throat> if you go back to AI Mojo, a couple different ways you can do here in the notes. If you 
if you copied it to the notes, it'll be, if you go to results, it'll be in results still. So what I need for you to do is go back, figure out a way to get back to your text and your profile image, save it in a Google Doc, because I will have this as your first checkpoint for your benchmark. So you must turn in the text, your text choices that you have, as well as the image it generated in a Google Doc. So figure that out. Place that Google Doc in your drive somewhere on the side, save it. Because you know that assignment is not up yet, but it will be. Checkpoint one. It's going to be checkpoint one. It's not there yet. All right? You all, which celebrity? Be very distinct about which celebrity you want to in uh, your image to reflect. It it may not yeah it may not do celebrities we'll see I don't know because remember it's it's creating an image it's not going out and finding an image it's making up an image so it'll do the best it can yeah so you can always go back and get that image for checkpoint one you can't go back and get the text so make sure you copy the text right now right now. And it's in results. If you go back to AI Mojo, should be in results. This is the place you can, but also, if, so that said, if you want to change it up, you go back to templates and, and start again, right? Um, I'm going to say in the style of Keith Herring. Right, so I changed it up. I'm going to generate a new set of, uh, but notice that my first set is still here. So as long as you're as long as you're still on your computer, your browser, stuff will will save there for you. But when you leave class, when you go off the browser, you'll lose it. So copy it and paste it somewhere. AI Mojo in the corner. That's how you go back, Sienna. Uh, Ooh, look. Sorry. This is my Keith Her this is my Keith Herring drawing. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I like that one. Who has a nice one? Who wants to show me that? Here I come. I'm walking around. Oh, I like that. Did you get one, Sam? Oh, I like that. Where's so, yours? Why are you hiding yours? I'm gonna I'm by the way going to the members tab and I can see what you what you guys are putting up here. Wow, look at furries. What's that? A dinosaur on a bike? <laughs> Okay, we want to pick up the people who who might have might have gotten lost. Um, if you got if you got yours up, please help somebody else get theirs up.
But you want to shut up. All right. Here, go. Go. You have to cry. And then ask. I want to I want to quickly I mean if you are happy with your image that's great if you want to go back and do something around that that profile image that's great if you look up at the screen you can see that I have this exploding rainbow behind mine the next is to use something called unbundling there's more AI to learn here if you are ready for this and it's in the next learning space up above. You can go up there and get the instructions for that if you're done here. But you also want to do your checkpoint one, which is to write about this experience. Think about, think about what it was like for you to get that paragraph based on your three things, like, and how you feel about AI giving you ideas like that and how you feel about AI creating images for you. Well, not how you feel, but what it makes you think. Mm -hmm. So how many people have ever used AI to generate an image? Well, we have about eight hands up, Paul. Good, good, good. And this You'll is be pros of this. Yeah. There's probably about 30 children in here. That's good. So... There are going to be so many other things we can do with AI. It's going to be there for you like a tutor, right? It's going to be an extra person to help you think about your writing. We have these templates where you can write something and you can say, you know what? Tell me the three things that are really good in my writing and two things I could improve in mm -hmm. on. And it'll, it'll give you that kind of feedback, okay? Um, it doesn't just rewrite stuff for you. You can also ask it to, to think with you, okay? So that's why we're doing this in school. We think that we can imagine a lot of really great uses for AI beyond just, you know, write that paper for me, right? <laughs> so there's that. Um, but Paul, when you yes. ask it to write that paper for you, you have to check it because it yeah. doesn't always give true and correct information. I would say even stronger, it will always give you bad information, <laughs> okay? It hallucinates. It, it, it lies to you all the time. Yeah. So you, you have to be careful of how you use it. We've created templates inside of Youth Voices that sort of pro help, it, help it be smarter. So we'll show you how to use those templates. Um, other thoughts? Uh, should we try to get the background one into? Yeah. Do that. Okay. okay. So you you want to take step with this group? You want to follow me up one extra learning space? Come on up. So where are we going back to? Oh, you you're going, but I have to go with you. Where am I going? Out. Back right, to the lobby, so where do I go? This is all more or less the same. Um, here, let me share this. Here. 
Move it, mute you. All right. Am I unmuted yet? Yeah. You yes. can hear me? Yes. Okay, good, good. So here, um, there is... So one of the things about in in this and this is, uh, yeah, here it is. It's in yellow. Yeah. So this time we're going to use a different template. We're going to search for the word unbundling. U n b u n d l i n g. Once you get into AI Mojo, so you're gonna. I, and maybe I should show that. Yeah. Hold on. So here's here's what you need to here's what's worth understanding. When you when you put something up like Keith Haring or um, uh, uh, Faith Ringgold, your your image is is good, but it, it sort of just looks like a copy of that. If you instead put the style in and unbundle it, it'll give you this sort of wilder image. Mm. So there are instructions for this. So if you can just follow the instructions that are on the table there, click that, you can do that. I will go through this kind of more slowly now, though. I'm going to open my AI Mojo again. And I'm going to the templates. And this time I'm going to search for unbundle, B-U-N-D-L-I-N-G, unbundling which is a sort of technical term that people who use AI all the time use. So this time my subject is, again, um, this time I'm going to say rainbows. Um, and I'm going to say in, but, and. Unbundle it. Unbundling. It's prompting 01 also, if you want to search for word prompting yeah. now paul as you said unbundle i was thinking about we've been having discussions about gender and a lot uh -huh. of young people here are very gender fluid will it be able to unbundle gender i don't know you could we could find out i'm just pushing the envelope it's AI. i'm, I'm gonna put gender in there so for my subject Boom, bam, 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 boom. And then in the style of, um, I'm going to use my favorite. Sorry. In the style of Faith Ringo. All right. Um, and I'm going to hit generate. Now, this time, what it does is instead of saying, instead of in the prompt saying, make it in the style of Faith Ringgold, it gives me, It's notice it says, create an image about a bright and colorful cityscape that has the characteristics and style of geometric. It gives you a description of what Faith Ringgold is about or whatever artist you put in there or art movement you put in there. All right. So let me see, an abstract portrait that has character styles. I'm not sure what this has to do with gender, but maybe you're creating an image about a spiritual, oh, a spiritual creature that has the characteristic styles of surrealism with, oh, it didn't finish. I wonder what that is. Anyway, okay. It didn't even finish it. It said, what? So I'm going to, I'm going to, so, and you can do this, by the way. I'm going to go back to the template. It has my stuff in here again. I'm um, going to increase the re response. I'm going to generate. I know that was sort of advanced there. But, um, you can play around with stuff here and learn it. Yeah, that's better. Create an image about a cosmos that has the characteristics and style of academic art with deep perspectives and fine detail. Whoa. See what happens. That's I'm going to choose the second one. Oh, yeah? you want? The, I like the cityscape. Are you all getting better images now, unbundling? I don't know if they're better. They're they're um, looser. Is what I'm I asking the students because I'm getting yeah, yeah. an Oz. Oh, good. 
So I'm going to put that one in. I'm going to generate. Now, here's the thing. For your for your profile for on your profile we don't want to screw. Ew. Yeah, that's not that bad. Like, it's, it's not bad. I'm gonna try it again. So note, notice I'm I'm using the same prompt, but I'm just hitting it again. Oh, that's better. Yeah, well, that's I, I could do that. So here's here's what's tricky, and I don't know your computer well enough, but you need to find a way to to select a part of this image. And get it, get the long part of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. You want you want the ratio to be wide, so it's a lot wider than it is high. Take a picture of that. <laughs> I know that's a bit of a step for some of you, but if you can get a screenshot, then you want to save this or copy it. Can I do that? Let me see. Or save it however you can. And then you want to come back and hit the pink profile cover. And then select your... Oh, I can drop? Let's see. No. Okay. So, uh, you may have to open this. Save as. There we go. I, I opened it in a new tab. So if you put a square image in here, you'll still get something, but it won't be exactly like you want it. So you can mess around, try different things. This is up to you. And those of you in the class who know how to play with images, help each other, please. I think all of them are far beyond us. Where yeah, okay. <laughs> what you say, Drew? No? So I kind of, my, I don't know if you can see mine, but mine is kind of, I, I kind of like that. Sort of yeah. looks like buildings, sort of looks like orange. You know, I'm going to leave it. And it sort of looks like real art. Right. As opposed to just like a copy of a cartoon of an artist, right? So right. that's what unbundling does. Unbundling gives you that, right? And the reason I have you do that exercise is I want you to see that AI isn't just like a like a um, a button you push and you get something. You can be creative with it. You can be thoughtful with it, right? You can. Use it as a tool for your thinking and your creativity. All right. The as as exciting as this is that you've you're getting set up on youth voices using AI. It'll be even more meaningful to you and it will count for you if you get that to that checkpoint one, right? And start thinking on in your writing, thinking about, I used AI in a classroom today. I've used it before just to mess around. Whatever you've done, that's great. But now they're making me think with AI. And I don't know if you're, I don't know if you'll hear this yet, but I want to tell you that you're right at the beginning of a real revolution in the way people think and create things, right? And I'm going to go back just to say, I think I said this earlier, but there was a time when people only did writing with uh, pencil and paper and pens, and they only painted with, you know, with paintbrushes. Then we moved into a digital age when people were typing on computers and using computers and um, and they did digital images. We are moving into a different time period, right? And this is the AI period where we're going to be creating with AI. We're going to be telling the machine what we want it to do for us. And we're going to you're going to help us think through how all this works in a classroom setting. 
So we want you to write about that revolution, okay? And how you're experiencing it as a young person. Yeah, it's a lot. And then, Paul, I'm going, when they, they already have written things to watch Whoa. episode two and five of the uh -huh. 19 project, so thinking about how they can use AI to revolutionize their writing for what they're about to post about gender history and literature with the woven pieces of the 1619 project through the docu-series. Yeah, now I will say this about that. I There are, I lost count, I think there might be 70 templates up there. So it's a little hard to find them all. I, I just went back to it to just say that, just to check. I love revising 12, 13, 14, and 15. And we're, we're getting advanced here, but too far ahead. But just to say, you can have it give you say back. You can have it point, which gives you a list of questions about your work. There are different things you can do. <coughs> we'll have to talk about what templates work best for you. Okay. you <coughs> um, but I was going to look at and celebrate by going to members, and everyone can do this. If you go to the members tab, you can scroll down and see, here's mine. <laughs> um, here's Casey's, nice. Oh, I like the Puerto Rican flag. Oh, and who is that? Cool. And there's Souls. Soleil. Soleil, thank you, thank you. And Haley. Oh, you guys got good, cool backgrounds in here. Is it a beer? A beer. A beer. She's, from, kind of? she's my baby from Syria. Oh, so what is that background? That's interesting. Is that yeah. Italy? So here's the thing in your reflection, I guess you call it checkpoint one. You want to say why you chose what you chose. You, you didn't choose why you just why you wanted that image. Like, yeah. how does it represent you? And this is a place to pick up those of you who don't have these beautiful images up yet. But I'm going to butcher names here. Who is this? Uh, Deja. Can you ask him? Yeah, can ask him. We can hear you. Somebody has a question, Paul. Sure. Let's up. Um, are we able to get the recording? The recording of the meeting. Of this meeting? Yeah, we can do that. Wow, beautiful backgrounds, folks. I love these. I don't get to do it because I should have brought two computers to school today. <laughs> you could do it. At, you could do it at home. So <laughs> here's the, here's the deal, folks. I want to emphasize that this is stuff you can do at home, and you should do at home. And um, we would. So there are a couple of steps next on Youth Voices. One is to go on youth voices and find other people that you want to talk to there are other schools in philadelphia who are on this site you could and other, cl other other classes that sometimes you all don't get to talk to across classes well, there's that too yep yeah. we're all in this together you can friend with your friends right here in the school that aren't necessarily in our a band class You'll notice that um, you have a couple of people who have friended you already, myself and Bobby. Yeah, you should, everybody. And Ms. Should. Uh -huh. you, can, you can follow, you can friend us back or not. It's up to you. <laughs> So what are you all thinking about Youth Voices as a platform right now? Just straight off the top of the dome, 
right now. I'm just having touched a little AI and text to image. Innovative. Uh, <laughs> Those are two nice words. Like that. <laughs> what you say, Drew? <laughs> what you say, Drew? You smile. He says it's very, very cute. Very, very nice. <laughs> oh, it's cute. It's cute. So that's where we're going to put our writing. So that's why we are going to take it to another level. This so, go ahead, Paul. No, there is a, there is a, the, the, the next thing up to do, but I can just tell you is you can go to your wall and those things that you were saying. So just, just click on where it says your name wall. And then it says what's new and it has your name. You can type quickly type right there. Hey, I did AI today. This is what I think about it. All right. It's just like putting a message up on, I don't know what, what you all use in terms of, but you don't use Facebook anymore. Right? But anyway, it's, it's just like putting the message up, but, and you can decide if you want it to be public, only me, only you can see it. Just warn you there, teachers can see everything at all times on this site. Um, or just your friends can see it, or just members of Youth Voices. So it's, you can decide how public you want that to be. So you could post something right there right now. Is Ishmael in the class here? Uh, Isaiah. Isaiah, I'm sorry. What? There is Ishmael. Bottom of okay, sorry. I was just saw somebody who didn't have a background yet. I was going to try to help. Uh, no, we're good. Never mind. Is it Shanai? I'm sorry to butcher your names. Shanai? She wants, is it he or she? Sorry. She. She, sorry, thank you. Um, you want to get your profile, of the cover image up, right? I am. Okay, good, good. Remember to leave a message on your wall. That'd be great. Also, Somebody noticed that I was recording. If you want to yell out what you think, we'll get it on the recording that way too. So cool. Huh? What are we to Maya, do you need some help also to get your background, the cover image, they call it? Yeah. I'm, I'm not calling you out. I'm just letting other people know you might need some help. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Look, there's somebody from the U school on here. Oh, they popped into my class? They did indeed. She's... Uh, Alaya is uh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Now, uh huh. So, you know, Sam and I are really, Mr. Reed, I, nobody here would have had him. Mr. Reed and I are very good friends. So, his students, if he sees, he knows that I was getting ready to do this with my students. So, he might be telling them to friend us. But she doesn't have as nice uh, profile images as my class does. Not yet. <laughs> Period. <Yay. laughs> oh, yeah. She's a really great writer, that young lady. I've read her work before. Cool. So, yeah. So this is a good example of Youth Voices. You can come here. Here's her image. And then this is a poem. And you could write back to her, right? And when you write back to her, they'll see your profile image and they can come, she can come and give you a comment, right?
She put that up a long time ago. I, but that's cool that she's back. All right. Um, any thoughts, questions, ideas? Uh, the <laughs> the other th the uh, the now comment is the other place we'll go, but um, you'll see about that soon. So there, there's lots of things we can be doing. Um, you need to find your own space in here and like use this for yourself. Um, I we have for I said it's beginning, but we have for 20 years. One of the ideas that we fight for and keep is that you can post to youth voices yourself. Uh, it doesn't have to go through a teacher first. It doesn't have to you know, be approved anywhere. If you put something up that's not right, we'll let you know and we'll help you take it down. But but you have you have the power to publish directly to the site yourself anything you want. And um, the I guess it's called a final that you're working on out of the 1619 project is going to be one of the first a things benchmark. you post up for benchmark, benchmark mm -hmm. that you're going to put up. You're, that's going to be one of the first things you put up on Youth Voices. Um, cool. It'd be great if you could get to doing some of that reflecting either on your wall or in a Google Doc, however you want to handle that. And let me see. I want to, I can go ahead. <laughs> You're not dismissed yet. You have a few minutes left, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Three minutes. Anybody have any questions for Paul, for me, for each other? Yeah, may, you have to unmute maybe, but yeah, go ahead. Or just yell out. No, they can hear. If the microphone here picks up it's, everybody's it's not, sound. Okay, good. Is that, is that louder? Is anybody? Oh, yeah, say that louder. I, I heard the word. Yeah, I think it's very interesting. Cool. Is any is anybody worried about putting their voice out there to the whole world? Nah. <laughs> it can, I mean, some people might be. It's okay. We can talk about that. There are ways on the site. I showed you already. There are ways on the site to make some things private if you want to, and or just out to just people at Beaver, or, or you can you can adjust all that. Yeah, it's just a sec. So if you want, you can start logging off of Youth Voices because we will be in this meeting room all day. Um, Paul has said he will provide us with a video of today's meeting. Those who ask, I just won't put it out there. You're going to have to ask me for it in order yeah. to get it. And, and I'm going to say this out loud, so this could be in the recording too, that if you didn't pay attention, so sorry, you won't get it from me. <laughs> no, you. I'll give it to you. And safe, just call. He had to get pulled out of the classroom. I'll give it to him. But if people in here that were doing their own thing versus paying attention, they're not getting a thing from me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right, everybody, log out. The people.